Following Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, several Latin American countries either ended their relations or declared war against the Axis powers. But Brazil was the only country to send troops to fight in Europe alongside Allied forces. Although its combat participation was short, it was more successful than expected. CCTV's Lucretia Franco has that story. Retired Lieutenant Dalvaro José de Oliveira is 95 years old. He was one of the some 26,000 soldiers of the Brazilian Expeditionary Force, or BEF, who were sent to fight with the Allies in the Mediterranean theater during World War II. And while it's been more than seven decades, he still remembers the dead. Sometimes we couldn't identify if it was one of ours or one of the enemy, and that was painful. But every time we saw those scenes, we had more desire to end the war and defeat the Germans. Brazil entered the war shortly after the Germans sank several Brazilian merchant ships in the Atlantic Ocean. By 1942, Brazil declared war on the Axis powers. And two years later, Brazilian soldiers were sent to fight alongside the Allies in Italy. There was an inside joke at the time that said it would be more likely for a snake to smoke a pipe than Brazil going to the war. Brazil went to the war, was victorious, and so the snake smoked. Doubts about Brazil entering the war led to the BF's nickname, the Smoking Cobras. And their insignia became a snake smoking a pipe. The Brazilian soldiers captured some 20,000 prisoners during their eight-month deployment. An impressive monument, the World War II Memorial is now one of Rio de Janeiro's landmarks. It pays tribute to the Brazilian Army, Navy, and Air Force, and to those veterans who lost their lives in the war. This underground mausoleum holds the remains of 466 Brazilian servicemen who died in action in the European battlefields, a testimony that became a symbol of national pride. Pride that retired Lieutenant Dalvaro, one of the few living veterans of Brazil's expeditionary force, believes is the purpose for him living so long, to remind people of the importance of peace. All over the world, on May 8th, there are celebrations marking the end of the war. It should be with peace and calm, and not what is going on with all that carnage. Peace is the most beautiful thing in the world. His medals are proof of Brazil's combat success in World War II, although he says today many are still unaware that Brazilian soldiers, like himself, helped the Allies win the war. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.